Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to make some more realistic Minecraft mobs in Spore. Alright, so in the last video, we made the Wither, we made the Skeleton, and then we made the Wither Skeleton. So that video accidentally had a little theme. We made the Skeleton Gang. So in today's video, I figured we would make the Village People. No, wrong village people. Now, I was thinking we would make the Iron Golem, the Minecraft villager, and then a zombie villager, and maybe a zombie if we got time. I think those are the mobs that you most often find in villages. Of course, we got the cat too, but that's just a cat that's not really a fantasy creature. Everybody's seen a cat before. I, I, I'm not gonna be making a cat in sport. All right, so I know that most of you just wanna see the Iron Golem, but I figured since this is the village episode, we might as well start with the villagers. That also gives me some time to think of some ideas when it comes to the iron golem because that's an important one that i definitely don't want to mess up and the villagers well i mean at the end of the day they're just pale squidward in a dress <laughs> that's, that's pretty much the minecraft villagers for you now how are we going to do the hands you know what? I don't think we're actually going to be using the actual arms to make the hands. We shall see. We shall see later on. <laughs> it's already looking so stupid, man. I mean, the Minecraft villagers have the unique character, <laughs> the unique characteristics of having a giant nose and a giant long head. How? I don't. I don't know. How I'm going to make this look good, guys. I guess first off, we could just start sculpting a little jawline. Alright, so I know that it doesn't really look like a face right now, but trust me on this, we are right now sculpting with the recoloring pieces. And man, if you give it some time, then eventually these pieces will do miracles. Now, of course, we need the long nose. Oh, man. You know what? It's already starting to look like a villager. Just now, though, <laughs> after we added that nose, man. The nose, dude. Alright, let's see that <laughs> with the correct colors. Okay, so it's already colored everything. That's how it looks right now. Awful. I hate it. It looks awful. Oh my god, even worse. Oh, so much worse. No! Well, then what if we push them inside of the head just a little bit? Oh god, no. Oh, okay. You know what? No. Uh, let's let's find some other eyes, shall we? All right, then of course we need the signature unibrow. And these guys are not gonna be winning any beauty contests. But you know what? I think I think we should all be a little bit more like Minecraft villagers. I mean, they rock that unibrow, man. They don't even cur. There we go. There <laughs> I mean, that does look like a Minecraft villager. Although it could definitely look a lot better. You know what? I think I'm actually going to use... There were other parts that we could use. Where did I leave those? All right, so we got these dark brown hair pieces that I think would look a lot better as the eyebrows. So let's see if we can actually utilize those. Okay, let's see how that looks. You know what? I, I, uh, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I mean, I <laughs> I do hate the villager, but I don't hate the eyebrows. It's like a new take on the don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> don't hate the eyebrows, hate the villager. <laughs> Is it just me or did that just make sense? All right, now let's... <laughs> Man, those are some skinny ass legs. All right, let's beef them up just a little bit. Man, that's a little bit too much, but uh, oh my God. All right, yeah, it's a little bit too much beefiness going on, but I think that should... You know what? It's all gonna be covered by the dress anyway. It's all peachy DT. And then for these shoes, I think these micro tech parts right here. The Microtech Ropa Foot would actually make a fantastic shoe. Since the villagers do have gray shoes. Oh, they... Okay, those are not gray. That's not gray! Hold up. Let's see if we can actually find some gray shoes. Will these stay as gray? They do! Okay, fantastic. So we got some gray shoes right there. Unfortunately, they, they don't really look like shoes. So let's see if these work. Okay, those work as well. Fantastic. Now, don't you worry. They're not gonna look like robot parts when we are done with them. We are going to spruce them up so they actually look like shoes. Don't don't you worry. <laughs> it looks so dumb, man. Oh, it looks so stupid. All right, now for his little dressy dress. His dressy dress? Sure. Now, I am debating if I should use the hair parts or if I should use the bumps. Okay, I think I'm actually going to be using the hair parts for the dress just because they look a little bit more cloth-like. I don't know. I think we can do something snazzy with these. All right, I usually put a six-pack on my humanoid creatures, so I'm really trying to resist the urge on doing it. Mm -hmm right now. Oh, let me just see. I just need to see. I just need to see how it would look. No, I think I used the wrong color. Yeah, I did. Well, maybe it's just very hairy abs. But great, there we 
you have it. There's the uh, there's the uh, villager beef version. Let's uh, let's now remove those parts and never speak of them ever again. Mm, nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. All right, now let's actually start making that dress of his. Now, I know there's a different word than a dress, but I just don't know it, and I don't care enough to search for it. So for today, it is called a dress. And why can't it be called a dress? What is so wrong with wearing a dress, really? Why Why is it not allowed to be called a dress? No, really, why do men take offense if we say other men are wearing dresses? All right, so I made the bottom part of the dress with those hair pieces, but I think I want to continue it using the more smooth bump versions. Now, these two parts should be the same color. Let's see if they actually blend. Yes, they do. All right, so they blend pretty well, although there are some weird things happening to those hair parts over there. Let's hope that's just a glitch that will go away. So we should be able to continue their outfit using these parts right here. Now, let's see how that looks when they walk. All right, it sort of looks like Aladdin pants, and that's not really what I was going for, although that does look great. That is not what I was going for, so let's try to fix that just a little bit. If we make a part right there in the middle, that should connect when they move their legs. Now, it is quite tricky to make these parts look like they're actually cloth-like, but I believe the trick is how you rotate them. I tried to make all of these parts very long and then rotate them so they're all facing downwards, just so that the entire outfit looks like it's all drooping. Drooping down, like a dress! So let's see how that looks. Now, it's not finished, but that actually doesn't look bad. Now, let's see how it animates. Uh... I still don't like how it animates. That looks bad. I don't like it at all. Let's see if we can fix that. I think if we make those parts just a little bit smaller, at least now they shouldn't be sticking out that much. And then we can just fill in the holes that we made with these wonderful parts right here. Now, one benefit of doing it this way is that we could also make it a little bit more droopy by making it stick out a little bit more and maybe make it a bit longer. So something like that, maybe? <laughs> okay, so I had an idea if we would connect the legs by the knees, if that would actually fix our issue. But as you can see, it just looks like they really need to pee and they just cannot find a washroom anywhere. Oh, poor guy. Oh, poor, poor guy. All right, no, let's uh, let's fix that. Let's not connect the legs by the knees. That was not the bee's knees. All right, now for the arms, I believe I'm just going to use the same parts as I use for the dress. Since you don't really see their arms, so let's first get the basic idea of how long their arms should be. I believe they should be a lot longer than that. Okay, I believe that is sort of the correct length for the arm. So now we can start modifying how it should be shaped. Alright, you know what? It's really starting to look like a Minecraft villager. So in that regard, I guess mission success. But man, I just think that we can make him a lot cooler than this. I definitely don't think we are done. We are not done whatsoever. No sorry, Bob. Alright, now let's start sprucing him up just a little bit. Alright, now let's take a look at the those shoes? Oh, so bad. So horrible. But uh, at least they don't look like robot shoes anymore. That's a plus. Well, there we go. All right, cool. Fantastic. Now, another thing I noticed is there should be a dark brown line going all the way through the middle of his dress. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're definitely getting somewhere. All right, so let's see how that looks. All right, so we are almost finished. But I do think there are a few more things that we need to add. First off, I hate those eyes. Let's add other eyes. Eyes. All right, so I'm looking for preferably green eyes. <laughs> I actually really want to use these eyes. If I can only push them just a little bit more inside of the body. All right, so I think the head needs a little bit more retouching because I just couldn't make those eyes look good. Okay, those eyes, uh, they look very... I'm not sure. I, <laughs> I don't like it. How are we going to make his face look... Uh, you know what? I'm starting to think that we can't make his face look good. I mean, come on, man. Yes, there we go. Perfect. I like it. I love it. Da 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 da. I'm loving it. Wait a minute. Am I crazy or do those eyes actually fit really well? Hold up. Let's see that painted. I must be crazy. Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Yeah, I mean, I th I honestly like those eyes. I did not think that I would actually use those eyes. I never use those eyes. Yeah, he likes them. He seems to love them. Gives them makes me crazy. Oh, you know what makes me crazy? This freaking bug. Oh, come on. This isn't Justin Timberlake. You know what it does kind of resemble Justin Timberlake. Okay, yeah. 
I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. All right, so I believe the villager is, I mean, uh, I don't like it though. I was gonna say it's finished, but I don't want to say it's finished when it doesn't look that good. Ears. We need ears. Of course we need ears. Oh, the ears are gonna make it look so bad. Oh, so horrible. Although you can't really see their ears in the Minecraft game. So I believe they must have some really, really tiny little ears on the sides that are barely noticeable, which is perfect for me. All right, let's take a look at our little villager. All right, so there we have our villager. I mean, it was never gonna win any beauty contest. Let's just be honest here. But there we have it. It's, it's a little, it's a little villager. Fantastic. Now, if I save and exit, I should be able to open up the creature again. And now I should be able to call him villager. There we go. Fantastic. All right. All right. So next up is the one that I am sure all of you have been waiting for. The iron golem, baby. The iron golem. All right. Let's begin with actually naming our creature so that it won't be called Justin Timberlake. Perfect. Okay. So this one is going to be difficult. I can already tell. I mean, if it was just any iron golem, this creature would probably end up looking great but see the thing is we're making the minecraft iron golem and uh, unfortunately they they do share a lot of resemblances with the villager for example the nose yeah the nose is definitely going to be an issue but luckily look at all these parts we got we got a lot of robotic parts so let's start envisioning what would the iron golem look like if it was realistic now i'm trying not to look at any pictures online because of course there's a lot of fan art online but i really want to make this my own. All right, I think these look great as the limb. All right. I'm not sure. Okay, right now this looks awful, but don't you worry. I'm just trying to get the basic shape going. And then once we have the basic shape, we can actually start sprucing it up. I'm not really sure if I like those legs. I think those look a little bit better. Now looking at the actual reference picture for the iron golem, it seems like he actually has one, two, three, four joints on his arms. So let's try to replicate that. I think we want to do something like that. That looks okay. You know what? Maybe we just use this one for the bottom three. And we have that little circle in between every single joint. And I think that looks pretty good. Of course, good is quite a stretch. I think that looks uh, usable. Is the correct term. All right, so all the basic parts should be on our creature now. Ah, uh, now comes the part that I've been dreading. We need to actually make the robot. Ah, uh, come on, man. I don't like that part. That's the part you guys can actually judge me on. Now, usually I use these parts to sculpt my creature, but this is a robot we're making right now. I don't think those parts are going to look good. I think these parts would only look good on, a, on an organic creature, but I should have some robot. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we got some robotic parts. It's not a lot, but I definitely think we can do something out of this. For example, this part right here could easily be a nice little chest plate. Oh man, I'm already starting to get so nervous. Are these really the only parts we can use? Oh, okay. I can actually use this part right here and then flip it upside down and that kind of looks like the villager head. Although it's a little bit too long. I would like it not to be that long. Alright, so I believe I'm just going to be using these parts to hold up. Let me see how it actually paint. Okay, it doesn't paint badly at all. Fantastic. Okay, so we got the parts that we're going to be sculpting with. So let's see how that will actually look on other parts of the creature. Okay, you know what? I do not hate what we have so far. I don't love it either, but I don't hate it. Definitely don't hate it. Okay, so here is what we have so far. Now, I know it's not the prettiest mess you've ever seen, but it is definitely progress. I am quite happy that we did find something to sculpt the face with. That does look metallic. All right, so I'm trying to replicate human muscle structure by using these parts right here, these seam whistles. It kind of look like real life pistons. So I kind of use them here on the side of his torso and I'm gonna try to see if it works on the neck. Hopefully that will work out fine. Let's maybe place two of them facing a little bit slightly different directions. All right, so that sort of replicates some muscle structure. All right, so initially I was filling in all the holes as you can see on the arms, but I tried to have some holes visible right here on the leg. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but for example, before I had this part very big, so there were no holes between the torso and the leg, but it sort of looks more correct with a little gap, right? Gap, that's the correct word. It looks way better with a little gap right there. So let's see if we make all these parts way smaller. 
just to allow for some gaps to appear. Or in fact, let's just remove these parts. They don't look good at all. Yeah, I mean, that looks way better just with those parts. In fact, let's move that over here. Let's remove that and then add that here. All right, that looks way better. I don't really want him to be too bulky. We could definitely make him just slightly more bulky, making the arms slightly less bulky as we go down here we go all right now for the face i think the body is pretty much finished now the face uh we need a mouth but i'm not sure if i'm going to be placing a mouth on his actual face if that makes sense because honestly as a robot doesn't really need a mouth but let's place a mouth right inside of the face right there and then move on over to the eyes now i want to try to make something very kind i mean sure the iron golem is definitely there to protect the villagers but he's also there to give flowers to the baby villagers so we definitely want some very kind eyes all right i don't hate those eyes now we're definitely not finished with the build mode i still have to add all the all the plants that he has growing on his arms and whatnot but i want to see if we can actually nail the colors as well okay well it looks like a junk of metal right now very rusty i kind of like it now if <laughs> we did lose all the color in the eyes but that is fine we can just add those back in now i wanted to make the iron golem very kind but apparently his eyes are red so uh, that usually means a baddie but i don't know <laughs> maybe the iron golem is an exception maybe he can look kind even with red eyes uh yeah, sure. Although those eyes look horrible. Let me fix that to make them a lot smaller. There we go. Way, 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 way smaller. Okay, good. All right, then moving on to all of the plant thingies. First off, let's see what actual plant parts we have. All right, so we got some variety here. We got some branches, some leaves. Oh, this is all good. This is all great. Now, I believe those two parts shouldn't actually color as anything, meaning that they will stay green and brown, which would be perfect. Oh, I was wrong. It is very nice not green <laughs> wow okay hmm I think we're just going to customize the entire plant. Ah, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to do this, but fine. All right, good. I'll do it. Let's see what the best green color is. We got three types of green color right there. And wait a minute. We should also have some yellow and orange in there. Yellow and orange. I believe these are some good parts to use. Okay, there we go. We have all the parts that we need to use. All right, then we just need to make it wrap around the arm shouldn't be that difficult all right let's see how that looks okay so there we have it uh hmm oh man i really hate it i really hate the color why is it so bright it's not supposed to be that bright okay so it may not be the best creation that i have ever made i don't know i think he has his charm but with the limitations of spore i definitely think it's it's something it's it's definitely something <laughs> i don't know no man i think it's mostly the face i think i think we still can do a little bit better you know what we have sculpted the faces of everything so i think i should try to at least sculpt the face of this iron golem at least just spend a little bit more time sculpting it Ooh, i had an idea for the mouth <gasps> You know what? Already that looks so much better. Now it actually looks like a robot. You know what? I actually really like that little mouth that we just sculpted. Now let's see if we can fix those eyes just a little bit. I, I know this is a robot, but I think wrinkles would be pretty fitting on this guy. Just to make him look a little bit more ancient and old. Something like that. There we go. All right, let's see how that looks. Okay. You know what? It looks a thousand times better now. A thousand times better, man. All right. So here we have our iron gun. And you know what? I don't hate him at all. Okay, just a little bit. But I do really like how the face turned out. I could not have imagined the face turning out any better. That's a lie. But I, I, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, the more I look at it, the more I hate it. Okay, well, on to the next creature. All right, so for the zombie villager, I figured we might as well just edit the villager that we have right now. But this time, this time, we can actually add some arms. Okay, those are some real zombie-looking hands. I love it. Okay. I mean, it's already starting to resemble a zombie. Now, we do want to take the scare factor up to 11. And I got myself some ideas. Oh, do I ever? Now, anybody that is used to watching my videos knows that my go-to plan when I have to make something creepy. Teeth. Of course we gotta add the teeth, baby. I mean, the teeth do so much. If you just add some teeth, then you'll be fine. Now, this may look really ridiculous right now, but hold your horses 
this. I'm not done. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it so hard. You're just gonna love it to pieces. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like what we have so far. In fact, I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it with a burning passion. All right. So, uh, I hate it. Yeah, definitely, definitely hate it so much. So very much. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can find some better eyes. Oh, these eyes don't look all too bad. Okay. <laughs> the red eyes. <laughs> Interesting choice, but okay. Now, let's see here. We definitely want the inside of the mouth to be quite red for obvious reasons. All right, so I did one more thing that I think is going... Yeah, that <laughs> that helped. The, the blood did definitely help. <laughs> I don't know, man. It looks... <laughs> I am not entirely sure about this one. Okay, well, hold up. Uh, I think if we just fix the pose of this guy, I think the pose is really causing me to hate it. Oh, my God. Okay, and now I messed it up. Now I messed it up it up okay so there we go i fixed up his pose just a little bit i'm not really sure if it's better or worse but it's different and that's what we were going to do i said i was going to change it didn't say i was going to make it better <sighs> okay as horrible as this creature may be here we have our zombie villager oh i hate it so much stupid stupid zombie villager man i i, I hate it i i really really hate it but here's the thing this is just the zombie villager villagers aren't really people just to make up for what i have created here i now need to make an actual zombie uh, one that doesn't have such a large nose and misshapen head i need to show that i'm not this terrible as i'm terrible as four not that terrible so there we go we have saved the zombie villager even though i, I never want to look at him ever again and I never never want to look at it ever again so now we should be able to make the actual zombie now for this final creation i figured we might as well make a little time lapse because I believe we are running out of time in this video. So let's uh, let's get started with a time lapse. All right, guys, let's go. Okay, so let me just remind you that this is four. So yeah, that uh, I mean it came out terribly. I. <laughs> But I will say this, it looks way better than the villager zombie, at least. Now, I think the idea of using the skull underneath the face was definitely a great idea. I just think that it could have been executed way better. But honestly, I have now been recording for four hours. So I feel like nah, maybe can, give me a little break. I also decided to then show off the skeleton on both the leg, the arm, and then maybe a little bit on the torso. You know, just show a little, you know, not slurry or anything. Just show a little. <laughs> What? But yes, there we go. Very creepy looking zombie thing. I think it's, uh, I think it's fine. <laughs> it's fine for the purpose. Well, all right then. All right, the zombie is saved. 
Let's go and take a look at all of the creatures that we have made today. Man, we made a lot. How many did we make? Four? All right, so here we are. Let's grab all of the... You know what? Let's grab all of them. All right, so here we are. Let's drag and drop every single mob that we have created here today. All right, so let's say that we have a little village here in the back. And then we have a bunch of zombies here on this side. And then let's see, how many iron golems would it take to defend those villagers against those zombies? Let's, let's, uh, let's start with two. Two iron golems. And let's just uh, drop in as maybe a wither skeleton. Sure, let's play as a wither skeleton. Why not? All right, so let's see how... Oh, oh, there we go. They're just going right at it. All right, come on, Iron Golems. Protect the villagers. Uh, hello. Wow. Hi. Hi, how are you guys doing? You guys look very snazzy. Hi. All right, how is the Iron Golem doing? Oh, man, this actually looks really savage. You know what? Now that I'm actually looking at the zombies, I am actually quite happy with how they turned out. <gasps> oh, no. I believe that the Iron Golem is actually not strong enough to deal with all these zombies. Okay, we need to help him out. We need to help him out just a little bit. Oh, no, that Iron Golem died. Oh, no, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. Uh-oh, okay, they're attacking me now. Guys, attack the villagers instead. I'm not tasty. I'm one of you, really. I have a wither skeleton. Oh, come on. This is not how it was. No, you know, mm -mm. I refuse to die. Let's go to build mode. All right, new plan. New plan. Let's make the... <laughs> Let's make the iron golems a little bit bigger. And maybe more of them. Let's add three of them. And way more zombies. Heck, you know what? Let's just add the mobs that we made in the last episode as well. Let's add one of each because they're not the focus of today's video. If you didn't see the previous video, the link will be in the description down below where we made the wither skeleton and the wither skeleton. Also, we also need to see the baby zombies. Hold up. Wait a minute. I also want to see the baby villager. How will the baby villager look? Oh, wow. Extremely nasty. I, I do not like the baby villager. The baby villager looks very weird. Oh god. Oh, so weird. Oh dear god. That is so nasty. So cursed. What about the baby iron golem? Oh, look at you, you little cutie. You look the same. What about a baby zombie? Let's see how a baby zombie looks like. Oh, God. Oh, the eye is so messed up on the baby zombie. Oh, dear God. That is nasty. All right, let's add a few of these baby zombies. Because, of course, baby zombies are definitely a thing in Minecraft. Although, they don't look that disgusting. All right, now for the... <laughs> Zombie villagers, all right, how do the babies look like? All right, the baby zombie villagers don't look that bad. Pretty much the same as the adult ones, just with bigger eyes. Okay. All right, on to the war. Let's see how this one will go. All right. Oh, oh, the iron golems have decided to now throw fireballs. That's, that's a new move. Oh, you know what? This war is going way better. Easy peasy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The villagers are safe. Oh, oh, okay. They're shooting fireballs again. I don't want to stay here. I don't want to stay here. This was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. I'm just going to stay here with you guys. Why are you smelling him? Why are you smelling him there? Oh, God. Oh, nasty, nasty things. Okay, I'm going back to the murders. Guys, could you please murder me too? Look at me. I'm a bad... Why are you walking away? Okay, let's try that again. But this time, they're not gonna be epics. They're just gonna be normal creatures that deal a lot of damage. Okay, now it seems a little bit more fair. Oh, one zombie got away. Oh, the wither got away. What is that? Oh, that's the wither attack. They do the... They do the big fire bombs. Okay, the game is starting to mess up because there are so many parts on the screen right now. So all the creatures... Oh, are those baby zombies? Oh, wow. Hi. All right, so there we have it. Well, okay then. So this is where I'm going to be wrapping up today's episode. So if you liked today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, make sure to leave some suggestions in the comment section down below as to what creatures should we be making next. Anyway, guys, like I said, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Have a good one, guys.